Hey everybody, what's up? I am Doc Ikari bringing you, I think, episode 16? Hmm? Yeah, episode 16 of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Now, I figured out that most people probably decide whether they're going to stick around and watch a video based off of what the video promises. And I'm not going to start making like a big thing out of like making big promises I can't fulfill, but I'll make promises I can fill. So I played a little last night and I went and got some boosters and we're going to try and get some more today. Um, yeah, I think I have two boosters on hand and I want to get at least two more so uh, there's the promise of a booster pack opening and as you can imagine I'm gonna go ahead and do some verses because that's sort of my daily thing now I uh, actually opened a couple of uncommon chests and a unified mind booster last night and I happened to get yet another Garchomp and Giratina GX, so I decided to build a deck focusing on those three. So I, I tuned up the GX Legends deck. Let's have a look at it. Oh yeah, I also got bored and bought new clothes for 55 tokens, and I put some new clothes on my avatar. I will call it heads. Dragon Chef. Oh, Dragon Chef, you always say the funniest things. <laughs> Whoa, those are some neat oh card sleeves. They're just vaguely reminiscent of the ancient Mew cards that were printed back in Z Day. I wanna say like two thousand in America at least. I guess I don't have any other additional basic Pokemon. I don't have any Pokemon. So, Psy Energy attached to Poi Pole, and I cannot play any supporters, nor can I play Switch, because I don't have any other Pokemon on my bench. What's this? Gosh, that's a cool Hound Doom card. Wow. And there my opponent goes, making me discard cards. Well, that's fine. I have two more. And one more double colorless energy. Rick RD. Uh, all I can think of when I read the letters Rick RD is Rick Rolled. Like, there's literally nothing I can do about it. <laughs> like, I guess... I'm going to try a Crushing Hammer to get rid of that double colorless on my opponent's Pokemon. Ah ha ha, they did not like that. And I'm going to attack with Last Scene. Uh, 
Alright, I'll attach a Psychic Energy to Garchomp and Giratina GX. Attack with the last scene once again. My opponent is not happy with me. They wanted to be the one doing the Rick roll. Like, okay, I mean, yeah, you're thwarting my strategy to a, like, minimum degree. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can still attack with Garchomp and Giratina next turn. In fact... I will do just that. And I'm gonna use GGNGX. On Mr. Rickroll. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool attack, I know. You can't do nothing now, thank you. The only reason I did what I did is because I felt like you had something on me for a second there. Well played. Oh. Basic Pokemon. Okay. That's crazy that you can combine that Pyroar break with that particular Pyroar and just get like super stats. Um, but alas, I have strategies. Yeah, they didn't like that either. <laughs> Maybe I should have used <laughs> GGNGX on the Pyro or the Litleo. I had no idea that was going to happen. Okay. Uh, what I need, if it's still in my deck... Oh, I might have taken it out! I did! I think I took Nugget and Adele out! What I need is an evolved Pokémon, and uh, right now that ain't happening. Okay, it's really tough for me to decide what to do. Now I have all this wasted energy on the Poi Pole, because I'm pretty sure I no longer have Nagana Dell out. I removed Rayquaza GX from my deck, and therefore the Lightning Element. So really, I need... I have a Steelix, a Haunter, a Gengar, I do have a couple of evolved Pokémon in my deck. Of course, my opponent keeps meddling. <clears throat> well then, I'm just gonna be a jerk, too. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, went to the wrong spot there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fine.
Yeah, so word to the wise, uh, even if your Tag Team GX includes an evolved Pokemon, such as Garchomp, um, it will simply not count as an evolved Pokemon. And there I get an evolved Pokemon, but Onix is in my discard pile, so is at least one of my Ghastly. I, I only saw one of them. So I reiterate, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> I have, like, no energy cards left in my deck. I don't have any Gastlies in my deck. I can't do anything because of that Pyroar. Um... I'm gonna concede because otherwise this is going to take a lot longer than 10 minutes. I got Rickrolled. Wait, maybe there's a chance. Maybe I can get real stupid with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the smallest of a chance. Oh! Until my opponent went and used Enhanced Hammer. Look at that crazy Fire Energy card. 2010? How long has this player been playing for? Hey! And again, was making me discard cards. That's almost my entire deck in my discard pile. Half of it is in my discard pile. 33 cards. Okay. I think I actually win here. And it's probably infuriating Rick over here. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's pissed. Well, hmm. No, I haven't won because I don't have a double colorless energy because you're a butt. Um. And I don't have a steel energy either. I can't do anything. Still. Well, let's take a second to look at that Pyroar Break card. Yeah, they they are sideways cards, and you put them over their original uh, cards over the top hat, and they retain the moves and abilities of the original. In this instance, it's a Pyroar. Don't have any Break cards in real life or in the uh the online trading card game unfortunately just a ridiculous strategy from Rick rolled over here that's what I'm calling him Oh well, I've done worse.
Frank Davy G is a real G. Cause I lost the coin flip. But uh, yeah, given there's time, I started recording this series a little early today, so I'm going to try and get some extra verses in. And hopefully that'll amount to something. But worst case scenario, I'm offering up a two booster pack opening at the end of the episode. It is a Jirachi GX. A very cool looking one. I believe that's from the Unified Minds set. And I don't have any energy cards. Is that the Caldeo V? Okay, no, I'm thinking of Caldeo EX, I believe, that has, um, pure heart. So it cannot be damaged by EX or GX Pokemon. Classic Pokeball, unfortunately. Frank Davy G flipped tails and did not get what they wanted. Oh, another gold rare Mewtwo card. This one is from... I'm not sure if I'm mixing sets up. I really hope I'm not. I think that's Fates Collide. I thought I knew. Uh, I have a couple of checklists behind me, so I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm going to use Crushing Hammer unsuccessfully, and that's all I can do. Frank Davy G is thinking. What a cool Wabuffet V card. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on that. Okay, that is from the Sword and Shield base set, card 191 out of 202. 220 HP. Pretty comeback and Shadow Bind. And I still have no energy cards. <laughs> this is egregious. I drew a Delmise, but not an energy card. Okay, a Steel Energy. Um... That's a tough choice. I will attach it to Garchomp and Giratina GX. And then I will proceed to end my turn. And nothing's happening. <laughs> oh man. Like, yeah, I mean, as soon as I'm able to do something, I will. But I've sort of set myself up for defeat here because Onyx has a retreat cost of four. I do now have two Switch cards in my deck, but where are they? And I just don't have the energy cards I need.
Is it my turn again? Alright, yeah, I guess I'll place Espeon and Deoxys GX on my bench. Still, the plan remains to bring out Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team. Or, if I get a non-fighting, non-psychic energy, then I'll attach that to Onyx first. I haven't played a supporter card. I have all these strategies for retrieving energy from my discard. But alas, none is there! Hey, get off of that. Stop that. Yeah, okay, I have a Psy energy. I don't really want to burn that on Onyx. So, I'm just going to end my turn. <laughs> A very anticlimactic series of versus matches today. My apologies, clan. Or Doc Hikari Squad. I don't know. I don't know what I'm calling. You peeps, my loyal fan base, you're awesome. Every one of you. Thank you for watching and checking my stuff out. I love it when my opponent plays a trainer card that actually helps me out more than it <laughs> than it doesn't. Okay, so I will not be evolving into Steelix yet. And I will not be doing damage this turn. Apparently. And I do not have the other energy. Oh, I have that. Okay. Professor's letter. So I'll draw two fighting energy from my deck. Attach a fighting energy to Garchomp, Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team. Place Feromosa and Buzzwool GX Tag Team on my bench. And then start to wreck up the place. Oh, potion. That's, uh... Super nice. No, I don't... I don't think that's gonna make that... Grandstanding difference that you're looking to make there... The attacks of non-fairy type Pokemon... Oof. Cost one colorless more. I'm prepared for it. In fact, I wanted a reason to attach a second Psy energy to Garchomp and Giratina GX. So... In summary, all of my opponents meddling this match is actually helping me. <laughs> Okay, attach that Psy energy, and finish off Caldea V with Continuous Slash. 
Unfortunately for me, my opponent does have several Pokémon that are prepared to attack, so I can only hope for the best in the next turn or two. Parallel Hollow Brock's Grit. I have a regular Brock's Grit card, I don't have the Parallel Hollow. I think it's in my real life deck. One of these days I'll have to do a video showing that off. I've been talking to a friend of mine about possibly doing Pokemon trading card game product openings. So, some exciting stuff to look forward to, you know, possibly in the future. No, no, I can't say I'm impressed. Actually, I'm very impressed. They're uh, really boxing me in over here. Okay. Once during each player's turn, that player may put a basic energy card from their discard pile into their hand. That's a neat stadium card. I would, wouldn't mind having one. This person has Parallel Hollow everything. Crazy! Oh man, am I about to get crushed? Is it clobbering time? Not... not near as bad as I thought, actually. Oh, how does that work out? Hmm. I don't know. That was weird. Really weird, in my opinion. I'm going to play Cynthia and draw a new hand. Not bad. Okay. So was there a trainer or something? That caused that effect? Not that I can see. But I am just now noticing a Mega Mewtwo EX. I was talking about this with my buddy Rico. Um, he was telling me that one of his partner's nephews Her nephew, um, was telling him about Mew 3, and I said him straight, I was like, no, no, that's just a schoolyard rumor, um, other than this one joke in the manga, there is no Mew 3, uh, just Mega Mew 2, and he was like, oh, well, I'm gonna go set him straight, and I said, no, nah, no, nah, why, why bother, you know, what, didn't we do the same thing as kids, just start rumors or talk about rumors about Pokemon. <laughs> and he was like, you know what? You're absolutely right. Call it heads. I will go first. Hey, get down. Or over here. Okay, my opponent had to mulligan. I'm going to start things off with Delmise as my active 
And a lot of time on my bench. I see my opponent's got a very cool Blastoise coin and clearly a water type theme deck. <clears throat> I will draw a card because they mulligan. Add a psychic type energy to Delmise. End my turn and look at this beautiful, I think, Lost Thunder Parallel Hollow Suicune. And they can make me switch my Pokemon every turn with that card. Interesting. Okay, add Sea Viper to my bench, use Crushing Hammer to get rid of my opponent's energy card. Psy Energy to Delmise, and use Seaweed Grab to retrieve Crushing Hammer. Honestly, I haven't eaten a lot today, so I'm kind of getting a snack attack. Just gonna eat a couple of crackers here. Capacious Bucket. Search your deck for up to... Gosh, my opponent just keeps doing things. I couldn't have even kept up and read all that. Had I really tried... Attach a Psy Energy to Sviper, use a Crushing Hammer, and that's about all I can do for this turn. Well, I chose a good one to snack to, because it's kind of apparent that my opponent is out to make the most of every one of their turns. My strategy is more like get set up quick and Use certain trainers and supporters when you can get the optimal effect out of using them. I, there is a such thing as a desperation move when you have nothing else to do. So, yeah, there's that. Let me see your Blastoise card. Very cool. Well, 
Well, there goes my Survivor. I guess I'll make Delmize my active. Attach a Grass Energy because he's kind of, in a way, like a Grass slash Ghost type Pokemon. I've seen Grass type Delmize cards. And I wasn't fooled for a second by this guest player. I didn't think <clears throat> for a second that they didn't have good cards or good strategy. I'll just eat one, one more little handful here and that's lunch. Well, darn. I think I'm gonna lose this one. Chippies back up while my opponent makes the most out of the turn once again. And proceeds to kick my butt. Like, it doesn't even inherently matter that I'm getting out Garchomp and Giratina GX. It's my, what I consider to be my ace in the hole. <clears throat> and that's just making no difference right now. I don't even have a supporter card in my discard yet. How unfortunate. Oh, is it my turn? Am I... Is it, is it my time to feel like I'm able to do things, even though I'm not really able to do anything? <laughs> Yay! Hmm. Well played, guest player. Defeat. Alright, and at 40 minutes in, I am 100% sure that I'm halfway through with today's episode, no matter what happens. I'm going to keep trying with my GX Legends deck, because I know it's better than that. I just had uh, some really bad luck, both with the players that I ran into and the cards that I drew. <clears throat> I'm getting lucky with the coin flips. That's that's about it. The coin flips. I'm gonna place Mewtwo from the Battle Mind deck as my active because I have a double colorless 
and a couple of Psy energy in my hand. Take my brief first turn, get set up, and let's see what my opponent does. Luba the Great is thinking. They played a magic card. Cut, 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 cut. What are you doing up there? Hey. I have two little kitty cats with me today. Lily the girl and Panzer the boy. Two of my favorites. I love them all. They're great kids. Okay, put Deoxys on my bench, and Garchomp and Giratina GX on my bench. Then I will attack ruthlessly with Psyshock. And it seems like my opponent is trying to put a lot more focus on setting up a Magikarp to be Gyarados. They probably consider Mute, uh, Articuno to be a bit of a lost cause right now due to Mewtwo. But they've got to come up with something this turn, or I win. That's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have plenty of energy cards in your hand. Oh wow, my opponent actually flipped two out of two heads and pulled off an epic splash. Use a crushing hammer, attempt was unsuccessful, and attack with side shock for the win. Huzzah! Mr. Pack, Mr. Pack, Mr. Pack, Mr. Pack. Come on, make it a booster pack. Ah. I'll always cross my fingers for a mystery box to be a booster pack, and clearly they not always are booster packs, but it's super fun when they are. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh boy, Zip Zack Maniac with a crazy mustache that doesn't match their face at all. <laughs> nothing but net. No, I had nothing but energy cards and now I barely have any. I am going to start strong with Eevee and Snorlax GX Tag Team as my active Pokemon. And then I'm going to add Delmize to my bench. Okay, a very cool... 
Camerupt EX card. I have no idea what set that is from. Not even gonna try and pass it off like I do. And a very cool Blaziken EX card. XY promo card number 54. Interesting. Well, I'm going to attach an energy attack with Cheer Up and attach a second energy to Eevee and Snorlax, a GX. You playing with your toys, pal? That's a good boy. Oh man, now I am dealing with a Salazzle GX from Burning Shadows. And that's card number 25 out of 147. And I do not have another energy card to attach this turn. Yeah, I really like that Salazzle. I'm going to zoom in on that. Uh, perhaps my fiance will be watching later. I know she likes Salandit and Salazzle. That is a beautiful card. I didn't mean to block off the screen for a second. My opponent plays Timer Ball and retrieves Burning Shadows, Charizard GX, as well as Mega Camera, which is promo XY198. I, uh, no longer have energy cards attached to Eevee and Snorlax GX due to... due to the meddling of my opponent and they're using Salazzle's GX move. It's crazy. They have crazy good cards. I am totally outclassed here. Hey, get off that box. Get off that box, buddy. Come on. Be a good boy. Come on. What's in the box? I know, you want to know. There's nothing in the box. It's, it's, an empty, it's an empty laptop fan box. Leave it alone. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. I'm sure that made a little background noise. The box is already uh, getting torn up from the top slash outer part, and I'm just not trying to see it go south any further. All right, play Professor's Letter to search my deck for a couple of energy cards. Boy, do I need them. And I'm going to evolve my Ghastly into Haunter to use the effect Gothic Fear, or the ability Gothic Fear, and leave both Pokemon confused. It's a desperation move, but at least I'm trying. Very cool Charmeleon card. Hey, get off the bag. Come on. No, you know what you're not allowed to do. And you're not allowed to eat bags. I'm sorry about that. Everybody, he just, uh... Seems like he's in a mood to get into stuff today. Alright, I will attempt to attack with Poison Ring. Attempt successful. Woot. Lily, not you too. 
Yes, I see. I you were right next to me when you were over there. <laughs> they, they act like I can't see them. It's really funny. I see you, baby. Shaking that tail. Shaking that tail. You shaking that tail. I see you, kitty. Shaking that tail. Okay, uh, before I get sued, I'll stop singing to the beat of somebody else's song. Retrieve a couple of powerful Pokemans from my deck using the all-powerful Pokemon Fan Club. Because my opponent is just loaded with GXs and EXs and Megas, and this is just... This has just gone too far. <laughs> Hopefully, due to confusion, Salazzle GX will hurt itself and not end up doing damage to my Delmise. And I'm going to try and set up Garchomp and Giratina GX to save the day. That's my plan. What is that? Okay, it's got a Pokemon tool, but it has no effect. That's why it's a red X on the side there. Cool! So far, so good. Now, it's really... <clears throat> luck more than anything, but hey, if Joey Wheeler can get away with relying on nothing but luck, I can do it once in a while. You, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there watching will get that reference. Hey. Or Jonanuchi. If you're more familiar with the manga. Or even the Japanese anime for that. Jonucci. I used to pronounce it Jonanucci when I was in high school, but I've since I've rewatched uh, season zero, <clears throat> and I realized I've been pronouncing it wrong for years. <laughs> no, no, I don't need that. I need two psychic energy. Is exactly what I need. Stop. Come on, be a good boy. No, I'm not. I'm playing a game, but I'm not playing with you. You're a funny little thing, Panzer. I'll pet you. You're still... <laughs> He's play biting my hand. I know, you love me so much. I love you too. Yeah, love you, buddy. He's hopping up and nuzzling my hand. So cute. Yeah, honestly, it's not really hurting my feelings, so I'm going to heal up Delmise all the way, play Mewtwo onto my bench, and then I'll even further my strategy by retrieving Professor's Letter. <clears throat> now Pokemon Center Lady is on top of my deck. Stop. You're like a horse. If you want to, you're gonna. Okay, a very good move from my opponent, actually successfully attacking using their Colossal GX. <coughs> Excuse me, so now it's time to get serious.
And that's all the side Pokemon I have with Delmize in my discard. And then I get Faramosa and Buzzwool GX out on the bench. Things are about to get nasty here in a second. I'm almost certain of it. Chill. Good boy. Okay. A camera up capable of doing up to 120 damage and burning my Pokemon. Thankfully, I have Pokemon Center Lady and a Great Potion on deck. But they didn't actually pull off any moves anyway. Okay. I'm cool with that. Sweet, I got one last Psychic Pokemon. If anything goes really wrong and I have to retreat Garchomp and Giratina GX for whatever reason, then I'm gonna try and have all three Pheromosa and Buzzwool GX, Dialga GX, and Espeon and Deoxys GX ready for whatever. Oof. I hope I don't have energy cards on the top of my deck. That was an insane amount of damage. For all of one turn. I'll heal a hundred and ten of it. And I'm just gonna use GG and GX to get rid of that Mega Camerupt. But for all I know, this Blaziken EX is uh, about to step on in and ruin my day. <laughs> Needs to do 140 damage. Which it can potentially do. Alright, now that's exactly what I was talking about. I'm gonna have to recalibrate my strategy. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't have the turn to do it. It's really unfortunate. I have the energy, I do not have the turn. So, I will simply offer my opponent a well-played Zip Zap Maniac. Defeat. So yeah, I'm about an hour in. I guess I'll just play one more and then do a small booster pack opening. I was hoping to have more than two, but two is better than none. Call it heads. And I will go first, having won the coin flip. I'm awaiting. Uh, 
Gonna start off with my ace as my active, Garchomp and Giratina GX. Wait, can they see my Pokemon? How come I don't get to see theirs? Blasphemy. And with that, I end my turn. Here, my opponent has a beautiful Pikachu and Z-Chrom GX tag team. And there is a Celesteela GX. As well as an Evolutions Electrode. Adam Deoxys to my bench. Retrieve two Psy energy from my deck. And because Pikachu and Z Chrom GX appears to be a slow growing. Pokemon card, like many electric Pokemon, um, it just, it needs a lot of electric energy. Okay, that's weird. And, um... I don't know if my opponent will be able to attack or not this turn. Yeah, they will. I was going to say they had a major setback, but right as I was saying it, they proved me wrong. Crazy. Okay. Well, I'm not pulling back on my strategy, and Continuous Slash should be able to do 240 damage this turn. I'm not even going to put the other Garchomp and Giratina GX out yet. Alrighty, draw three prize cards for my awesome victory over Pikachu and z Chrom GX tag team. Now my opponent is scrambling to not lose right away. Really? Okay. I guess you can do some damage this turn. Tapu Coco GX, tearing it up. Guess I'll add Buzzwool as my active Pokemon now. Use Lysander because Tapu Coco is ready to go. And alas, my Pokemon are not as ready to go. <laughs> But I definitely feel like we're closing in on the end of this particular matchup. Look at that, a Lost Thunder Shuckle GX. Very cool. I mean, the fact of the matter is, my opponent is going to be ready to attack before I am ready to use my big attack. So... That's just the way it was.
and my opponent, hmm, they have three prizes left, so I could pull... No, it's too late. I already collect. I could have used Switch and brought out Deoxys or Ghastly. Sacrificing them to be able to attach more energy to Pheromosa and Buzzwool. Yeah, I mean, all my opponent needs to do is... Not that. <laughs> okay. I am just all kinds of confused now. Well, I didn't even do anything. My opponent just tricked themselves into using their GX move for something that will not... Uh, will not cause them any gain, so... They even said themselves while played, they were like, Oh, man, you reversed my strategy. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> But seriously, if you hadn't if you hadn't done that, you'd probably be able to knock out my Pheromus and Buzzwool this turn. And uh you'd have won. Honestly, you acted as the means to your own defeat because I came prepared. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do. I'm just gonna... Even if I use Jet Punch, I can knock out Eevee and Snorlax GX. So, unless you can heal right here, right now... Oh, sorry. That's not gonna cut it. I offer you a well-played... And I finish off your big daddy. For the win. Alright, well that's 50 more tokens in my virtual pocket. Unfortunately, still not enough to buy another booster pack. And I didn't earn one. I tried. I really tried. But I'll go ahead and open up what I got. Hopefully you stuck around. Because everybody knows this is the best part. Booster pack opening. Unified Minds. Now, this is the set that I definitely have the most cards out of. So I'm seeing less and less new ones. But here's to hoping. Alright. At least three new cards. I got a Berry Energy, all high-tech looking. Cryoganol. Young Goose. Looking sniggy. Yanma. I was just talking to Rico about Yanma, because I caught one in my other series. Cubo. A new Whitwick in front of a very Adams Family looking house. That's a cool card. I like that, even for a common. Stadium Nav. Flip two coins for each head. Search your deck for a stadium card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Weakness card, energy, aura, and guru. I got a parallel hollow of that very same card last night. A parallel hollow rare, Serena. That looks really cool. I don't think I have the previous form, though. 
and a non-hollow gal galvantula. One more pack. <laughs> okay, Darkness Energy, Cryogonal, Dupire, Driftloon, Sharumis with like a lava lamp kind of background, Derudagon, Swadaloon. Fly inning MZ air slash style. Blizzard Town. A parallel hollow Muna. And a Rowlet and a Lowen Executor GX Tag Team. Always good to draw. A GX tag team at the end of an episode, or a V or a V Max. Alright, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I am Doc Hikari, and this has been episode 16 of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Everybody, have a great day.